Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about circular number 08 AML 2021. You all know that recently we got a circular from Ministry of Economy regarding GoML. They are they put some requirements uh, for a transaction more than 55,000 in cash mainly. We are going to discuss this this uh, circular in detail let's begin you all know that uh, now in dubai in uae this goml is uh, uh, working uh, very frequently and uh, government puts many hard rule and regulations in the industry to combat the anti money laundering and finance uh, financing of terrorism terrorist organization and illegal organization in this regard, Ministry of Economy has issued one circular, circular 08 AML 2021 on 2nd June. Let's discuss. This GOML, they are, they, in this circular, they are saying some report, reporting requirements. This is due diligence and reporting requirements. This is in reference to Federal Decree, decree, decree Law Number 20 of 2018-2018 on anti-money laundering and combating the financing of terrorism and financing of illegal organization and the power to issue instruction granted by article 44 section 2 of cabinet decision number 10 of 2019 concerning the implementing regulation of decree law number 20 of 2018 on anti-money laundering and combating the financing of terrorism and illegal organization first point they are saying dealers in precious metals and stone must undertake the following procedure effective from 12 june 2021 they are describing three kind of transaction which we will discuss in next within the next few seconds first point is transaction with resident individual what is the requirement what documents we have to collect where how we will proceed accordingly point number two is Transaction with non-resident individual like tourist. Point number three is transaction with entities and companies. Now let's discuss point number one in detail. Point number one says transaction with resident individual. In this point, if we are doing any cash transactions more equal to or more than fifty-five thousand, we have to obtain these documents: Emirate ID or passport of that individual and we have to register this information in FIA financial intelligence unit of GoML platform under the heading dealers in precious metal and stones report uh, this dealers in precious metal and stone reports we will I will discuss this thing in next video in next some parts if we are doing any business with any resident individual, cash transaction more than 55,000 or more, equal to or more, then we have to we have required to collect these documents. One of out of these two, Emirates ID or passport. Now come to the point number two. Point number two says this all circulars regarding for the dealers in precious metal and stones only not for all the cash transactions point number two says transaction with non-resident individual who are the non-resident individuals who are coming uae on visit visa tourist visa cash transaction equal to or exceeding aed 55000 we the dealers must have to obtain these documents out of this any id this is a very confusing point they are mentioned in the circular only id this could be a uh, they are uh, country id like their country voter card like in india this that is Aadhaar card or passport i think passport sh everyone should collect only passport because uh, regarding other documents we might be not aware if someone is visiting uae he must carrying his passport with him only that he is clearing he is getting visa and clearing uh, customs and all that so must only i think uh, point is must obtain passport 
only and register the same information with FIU GoML platform. Come to point number three. Point number three says if we are doing any transaction with any entities or companies, this is B2B business to business transactions. Transaction equal to or exceeding AED 55,000 in cash or through wire transfer. Here they have mentioned through wire transfer as well. Earlier in point number one and two, only cash transaction was mentioned. But if we are doing business B2B, then if we are transferring funds through wire transfer, that also coming under this circular. In this case, we have to collect these documents, their trade license and earlier there was or in early point number one and two. In point number three, we, if we are doing business with entities or companies, we have to obtain trade license plus emit ID or passport of the person representing the company. Emit ID or passport, anything, any one of two we have to obtain. And same thing is here. We have to register the information with FIU GoML platform using newly created DPMSR, Dealers in Precious Metal Stones report. Now come to the last point, record keeping, circular saying, everyone must preserve, save, store the documents regarding above transaction for the minimum period of, period, period of 5 years. <clears throat> Uh, okay, thank you. This is the all about the circular number 08 AML 2021. In next video, we will record how to report under this DPMSR. Okay, thank you everyone.